What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Maz Anomalies channel. Okay, guys, um, got another picture for you today. It's from the Sal 776, I believe. And I'll we'll check, double check it in a second. Um, every now and then, I'll get a, a, a person come on there and they'll say, Oh my God, you guys are using Photoshop. There's, you can't possibly have any validity with that because you're using Photoshop. You're effing these pictures up. What they don't realize is they, you know, NASA and these other uh, space agencies, they have something far more superior. If you could turn a certain object into a rock, yeah. Um, if there's capabilities to do with Photoshop, I don't know how to do it. I mean, I know Photoshop, but I don't know it that well. And let me tell you something. They're using that to manipulate these pictures, and this is just going to be one small example, and you got to pay attention. It's details, details, details. Now, for all the people that want to put blinders on, yeah, go watch Romper Room or whatever. That seems your more speed, or maybe Sesame Street or something like that. For the people who want to see this, and I'm not going to do a thing to this picture in the beginning because I want to show you, you can see this right from their picture. I'm not doing anything to it. Only the thing I'm going to do is I am going to use the Photoshop, but I'm going to show you to emphasize what's already there. Okay, so this is the picture you'll get right here. This is from, I was correct, 776, and it's supposed to be raw images, which is not raw, because um, raw images are monochrome, and a lot of people love to tell me that. They're like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, these come in monochrome? No shit. Um, yeah, we're aware of that. This is the reason why we use grayscaling, which is basically the same. Uh, monochrome is both black, white, and gray. There's information in these pictures on those three different shades. So, yeah, I'm fully aware of that. Um, and these are nothing more than doctrine up. And an artist rendition goes over these. The artists go over these and paint them in colors and wash out background pictures, background, backgrounds of these pictures. Now, I want to show you guys something. This is, of course, this is right on your site. And you can see it up here, nasa.gov. I'm going to do it right here. Look at the way they're doing this. Now, if you notice, you see very faintly, you can see the mountain ridge right here. See that? Keeps going, keeps going. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, oh, here it is again. Wait a minute. So now let's back up a little bit. Let me just bring this down. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Now, if you notice just under that ridge line, there's another line, and it looks like it's a different color, but it's riding just underneath this ridge line. But it looks like it's more of a squarish, if you will, and it goes up over here and comes down, and it's blotching it out. This actually looks like it's sticking out over here, and I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, hold on a minute. If this is quote-unquote, and we already know this, if this is the actual fit, uh, pictures, uh, yeah, uh, again, that's BS. These are completely washed out, and what they're doing is hiding whatever's on these hills, mountains, or whatever they are. Um, I don't believe they're, they're mountains at all. I think there's actually objects, even if it's in a hilly area. I don't believe it's a mountain per se. I think it's actual, maybe a small hill, but there's a bunch of stuff right behind it uh, or right in front of this rover, and they're just not letting you see it. Um, but again, just look very, very fine line. It's just there, just a little bit going around. You can see that clearly, and then it disappears, comes back a little bit right here, and disappears again and comes up over here. Okay, what does that? Why is there a line below that ridge line? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to make this more natural. I could do the auto color, which is right here. But that didn't quite seem like it either, so I did this here. Now you can see the difference between completely washed out. This is, just, this is the original picture, and you can see it right there. Okay, here it is. Now, auto color. See how you don't see that now, but you can just see it's darker, and then all of a sudden it's lighter again. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this, how easy this is to find. Watch this. Adjustments, levels. That's it. Bring down the gray, and then bring up some light. Are you guys kidding me? Yeah. Let me guess. For all these naysayers, I love this. This is great. Oh, they're compression marks, dude. Yeah, and they're all... And the compression marks actually have minds of their own, and they're actually selective. They will not go over this mountain ridge. They'll just go to the top, and that's it, right? Come on, man. Look at this. You can see where the ridge runs like this here, but yet they're blocking it out. Why would they do that? There's nothing here to see in this picture, right? Why would they do that? And they do it over here, too, and you can see it actually drop down, okay? But you can see right there. And in fact, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to bring it out a little bit more for you. Okay, look at the ridge right here. It stops, but look at all the way down here. Like, they only just try to do just this edge of the picture, and you can see where it's nice and straight, and it goes all the way across. Then, check this out. Look how heavily they've done it down in the bottom here. I wonder why they would do that. Hmm. Now, there's... The <laughs> 
I want to show you something because it's actually, it's probably matrixing, I'm sure. But it looked like a little vehicle in here. And watch this. Out of all of this mess I could find, now, I can see these lines. See these right here? And you can see these lines where clearly there's something with edges and corners and things like that all hidden. Okay? But check this out. Right here. <laughs> Looks like a little wheel. Front end to a car. Goes up. Side windows. Bottom of it right here. And then you can just start to see the back window, and then it's completely gone. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, guys. I'm just saying it was kind of funny because out of all of this and this whole mess, these this this manipulation and obfuscation, that you can see that one little thing sticking right here. Kind of, kind of cool. But that's not what I really want to show you. To me, that doesn't matter. Check this out. Now, what I did notice, I don't know if you guys will see this. No, in the other picture, you clearly will not see that. But right here, after I brought this down to expose this, check this out. You see like a shape right here going like this. It's curved right here. It goes across, comes down, comes down here, has this curvature right here, and then comes back down. I was like, whoa, what is that? So again, I black and whited it, and you can see this coming down. It looks like it drops all the way to the ground. It comes down, goes like this, and goes down to the ground. And I wasn't sure yet, but this is what I found. It looks like it comes like this, stops right here, and goes down. It looks like it goes across here and might actually go up. But let me let me show you. Make it a little lighter. Trying to, I'm trying to bring out these lines if they are clearly in there. But look at this. Yeah, that looks a little too perfect hidden inside this manipulation. And this is what I've got. It looks like it comes up, goes like this, goes around, comes down, goes like this here and comes down. It looks like it actually comes like this and down to the bottom. Now, what could possibly do this? It doesn't make sense. Now... Again, you can see these lines and something else is being hidden inside this picture. God knows what the stuff is. I couldn't even tell you. I'm only just making, you know, speculations because I don't know what it is. But you could clearly see there's some kind of weird shape in it. Now, is it uh, nothing more than matrixing? Uh, you know, I'm just seeing things. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you can clearly see it goes boom, boom, comes up, goes across, and has this, like I said, this curvature right here. goes across like this here, down, and around. So... I don't know, guys, but the main thing is not so much that, but although this is just as important because clearly they're trying to hide something that's in this picture. And whatever that is, again, it looked like that little car right here. See this? That's kind of weird how it's just everything under this picture, you don't see a thing but just manipulation and, uh, you know, uh, basically objects at the picture. Um, you know, of the manipulations, you're just bringing out these artifacts, but it's just kind of weird how you just happen to see this perfectly round circle, a dot in the middle, has this right here, comes up, has the bottom, and that, that's the end of it. That's the last you see of it. But, again, I don't really care about that. It was just kind of funny how I just happened to see that. But um, I'm looking at the overall big picture here, and I can see what looks like corners and, and things that are in the shadows of this. And you can see that, even right there. But, guys, come on. You know, this is the reason why you cannot bring anything out of these mountains. It's not that this happens to be a dust storm that day. Let me guess. Every single picture is a dust storm? Come on, man. You know, you, you, you know, people, and I get a kick out of it because lately I've been having people saying, oh, you know, you, you, you know, and I think it's funny because, you know, people, I even look at it this way. They're trolls, debunkers, or they're just people walking around with blinders on and being willfully ignorant. So um, if they want to be, that's their decision. Uh, I refuse to be like that. I want to know what's really in these pictures. This here, and like, again, I don't have to even do that. I can go, I can go right up to this picture and see this myself. You can just see that. And how there's something just below that line. And there you go. Just look at the way these are squared right here. It's still right there. And you can see it drop down. Goes across. Comes over to here. And you can see it drop down over here. And right here where it's... You can actually see this little... Right here, this little square where you don't see that line. The line of the mountain ridge actually goes like this. And it disappears. And it kind of goes right up in here. You can see it just right here. But there's actually a square over here. There you go. So... Yeah, like I said, this is not compression box. These are not simple artifacts. All this junk in here is. But what they're doing to these pictures, they're blatantly blocking these pictures out. That's all there is to it. But, guys, I'm not going to make this one too long. I just wanted to show you that. Just a simple and This is another way that NASA's lying to us and how they're just, uh, you know, washing these pictures out. Here's a perfect example. You guys, let me know what you think. Always, as always, comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know you're on board with this idea. If not, tell me what you think this stuff is. Uh, do you still think it's compression marks, or do you think it's something else? Me, personally, it's a blatant blocking of what's going on in these pictures. Not only do they, I've been saying this, they take a monochrome, which is black and white, or gray, depending on the information in the picture, 
They simply have an artist go over it, block out whatever, um, whatever, you know, anomalies are in the picture. It could be anything. I don't care what it is. Okay. Uh, put these compression squares or whatever they are, uh, these, put these blocks over these things just to block whatever's in this particular area of this picture. And then we'll go over it with the orange, or like with the orange reddish color, dust color. And then what we'll do is we'll just put like a haze over the color. Like just put like this contrasted area. We can do that and nobody would be none the wiser. And they're right. If you didn't look at this picture and look at it closely, you would have never seen that. I didn't. I just happened to look at them going, another washed out picture. Hmm. And I looked at the ridge and I can clearly see that. I went, huh. Imagine that. So I figured I'd bring that to you guys and let you, so you're aware of what's really going on. And not that you guys are stupid. You're pretty much already on board with the idea that they're just hiding everything they can. Um, but there's just a blatant, I mean, slap in the people's face here, guys. I mean, it's it's just crazy. But anyway, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Always uh, curious to see what you guys have to say. Um, and, you know, by going back and forth, we can tell each other, you know, well, I think it's this. And we can learn from it. Now, if you're just a person that's going to say, well... You're just a guy just doing stupid pictures and, you know, you're misleading people or you're using Photoshop so you got no validity to the to these uh, claims. Come on, seriously, stop. You know, here's the thing. I said it a hundred times, a million times over. Look, we don't know what these things are. It's pure speculation. But the fact of the matter is the inconsistencies in the picture and we're showing that they're manipulating and obfuscating these pictures. Point blank. If you're not smart enough to see that, I don't know what to tell you. That's, that's all there is to it. But I think it's just kind of hilarious that people walk around with blinders and that's it. They refuse to see. But uh, I know my uh, subscribers are pretty much on board and know exactly what I'm talking about. And they've seen plenty of this themselves. Nothing to prove to you guys. But anyway, guys, I thought you would enjoy this. Just another uh, small but yet significant idea in, in uh, just pointing out that uh, they are lying again, which we're not surprised. But anyway, again, guys, give me your take. I'll see you on the next pitch on the next video I have and I do have I've been saying this uh, the 67p comment uh, comment that is not what you think it is and I'm gonna get back to it because forbidden knowledge has given me this he's one to point this out and prompted me to want to do this sooner so um, I'm gonna get to his as well because um, he, he did give it bring it to my attention and also the pictures he had brought me um, we were going back and forth sharing this so um, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna show you that pretty soon that's coming up as well as another one showing just common sense video and how people just don't have a clue. They just think that people are just, like myself, doing Photoshop. Oh, you guys are lying to the people. Oh, well, guess what? We're not even going to use an ounce of Photoshop. Just going to try to use some common sense on this one, guys. So stick with me on that. The next couple videos are coming up. I think you guys will like. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next pick.